Hello, uh, my name is KirbyCon, or Wilford Brimley, or Dr. Swag, or Jeff. I don't know what my name is. What I do know is that I play me some Factorio. And lately, uh, Factorio upgraded to, well, got updated to 0 0.17. And C Block is what I was playing prior to that update. I didn't want to keep on playing on the old one, uh, so we just do some extra stuff in order to get that C block mod. For this, it's not going to be on the mod portal quite yet. It should be updated on over to the mod portal. I don't know, maybe in a week, maybe in two weeks. Uh, if you are watching this video during the golden window of the mod constellation not being updated, then follow these simple steps. First of all, we are going to go ahead and open up Steam. We're going to get on over to the Factorio. We're going to go on over to Properties. Uh, we're not playing the absolute latest. I had problems with playing the absolute latest and installing all of the mods. Uh, what I picked out of the hat was 0 0.17.22. Uh, and then from there, go on over to the C block spot. This is not it. This particular thing uh, is key to the 0 0.16 install, which you can do. It's not really that big of an upgrade. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get on over to page 52 of the thing. We're going to go ahead and control F for train wreck. That's uh, the name of the dude who packaged up this crazy thing. And here he has the C block zip. This brings you to a mega upload page. I know. A little bit sketch. I downloaded this. I. So I'm not going to download it again. We're going to go on over to the application directory wherever you have your Factorio stuff saved on up. Copy that. Press the enter button. Here we are at the Factorio uh, file path. From here we're going to go into mods. That mega upload thing, you're just going to go ahead and toss it into here. If you don't have 7-zip, I highly recommend it for zip files. You're just going to extract it here. That's going to create this folder. And then control X, all of that, so that it ends up being here. I don't need this folder no more. Uh, Alright, and then with that, you have the basic installation. Uh, it's going to take a little bit time to upload. Uh, in addition to that, I'm going to go ahead and... Do a quick search for squeak through. I'm gonna install this. I'm gonna do a basic search for a hell mod. This one's optimized. This one was updated four hours ago. This is a powerful spreadsheet. I I'm curious to see what it looks like with the UI update. I'm gonna install that one. Uh, was there anything else that I wanted to install? I believe that was it. Uh, let's go ahead and go for... Uh, I think it was bigger bags. Quality of life research. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, this will It's not going to give me bigger bags right at the beginning, but I'll always like having that opportunity. And we're going to go ahead and install that. Uh, hit the confirm button to redo all of them mods. And it takes a little bit of time. If you're not familiar with C-Block and this is just sounding like some straight up Chinese to you, that's A-OK. -okay. This is incredibly niche. Uh, but it is satisfying. If you have attained mastery of the vanilla Factorio experience, or you pretend to attain mastery, like, I'm not gonna be, uh, I've never actually launched a rocket. I've played this game since 0 0.15, and I keep on neglecting the various bonsai trees that I have set on up. Because, you know, life gets in the way, and this is a hobby. And hobbies take second to important things like I don't know I have a dog I have a wife 
I have a job. But for me, this is my time. Uh, it's going to always tell you, hey, you're on a weird update. I know. I made it that way. You will know that this has worked because everything that you have experienced uh, on this opening screen, personally, I like to put on to peaceful mode, no evolution. And because there's no land, like pollution is just extra math that goes on to the background. I don't need my computer to get uh, bogged down with it. Now we're just going to go ahead and preview, and this is all I have. The sea. Each of these green spots is for gardens, which is a thing. If you want to get farming on, that is a uh, production chain that cycles for a very long time. And so you just kind of set it, and you forget it, and you come back, and you got like some plants, and you can turn that into oil, and that's cool and all. Uh, I have a time skip where I set up a positive loop and just allowed that to run while I was over at a party last night. And the biggest bottleneck is the land. Uh, this has been running for about seven and a half hours. So you have yourself a big old boost to your energy availability and the amount of land that you can plop on down so that you can experience this a little bit easier. Gardens. And hold on, do I have any in view? No, I've already snatched the trees. That was what was on this little island. Hopefully that has helped you uh, get started on your path to this incredibly niche mod. Uh, I'm going to continue like recording myself playing this game. Probably not going to upload it. Or I might. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, if you'd like a tutorial about you know how to get started, I would highly recommend just loading up a fresh game and just trying to figure out what is going on. The way that the first four technology paths work out is that uh, the only options that you have available to you are not told to you. They're just there, and then you just tinker with it, you figure it out, and you somehow turn water into land and into metals. Right. Thank you for joining me. I hope this helps.